back everybody to Danbury Golf YouTube. We are here today at Mabel Golf Course. Uh, it's another one of the parkland courses that uh, is offered by Golf South Ayrshire. And just, and it's a bit cloudy, it's a bit windy. Hopefully the new microphone is helping with that. But just, just, what a wonderful place to play golf. Let's get into it. Okay, so we've got a, a downhill par 4 to start, you can't even see the green from here, it's so far downhill. Uh, let's give it a swing. First, first strike of the day, playing off the white tees today just to make it a bit longer, it's not the longest course in the world. <clears throat> Super windy. This could go absolutely nowhere. It needs to sit, it needs to sit. Okay, so first tee shot of the day. We're in play. Uh, the wind is going to cause havoc today, I think. Um, I reckon we've still got about 160, 170 in. Um, I'm going to set myself a wee challenge today. Um, been to the range a few times recently. Been hitting the ball, striking the ball quite well. Hit that drive okay. So we're on a path 33, just for nine holes. Um, Brilliant condition by the way, so I'm going to try and see if I can't break 40 today, I'd be happy if I came in less than 40, so let's play a second shot, see how we're going. So we've got 166 left to the middle of the green, I'm just going to play that number, uh, try and see if we can get there, a wee 8 iron, it's sitting down a touch, kind of awkward stance with the feet, but let's see how we go. A good strike if it clears that bunker. And we did, we think we're dancing. I think we're dancing. Okay, so it's come up actually a wee bit short. Um, maybe just the wind's caught it a wee bit, so we've got an awkward wee chip here. I'm just going to try and bump and run a nine iron. Don't know what the greens are like, so this could, uh, it could do either of two things, I suppose. Let's just see if we can get it rolling, get it close to the flag. Or it could go in. Oh, it's ran quite a wee by as well. Greens look like they might be a wee bit quick, considering that even they're not in the kind of best condition, so. A tricky one back for par. Let's see if we can see if we can stick this one in. Can be a good start. Come on, turn. Oh. Unlucky, a bogey to start is never the worst thing, especially in a golf course I've never seen before. One of the second. So that hill we came down on the first. We now have to go back up on the second and that looks daunting. My god, we're only 330, 40 yards, something like that. Um, but we need to go back up there, so let's get to it. Try and tee this one a little bit lower. Uh, I'm just trying to stop the wind affecting it so much, but the wind and the effects should be behind me uh, on this hole, but we've got some big trees out there, so I've not teed it that much lower either. Very good, okay. Here we go. Looking right a wee bit again. Should be nice and safe over there. Okay, so up the hill, it's a plateau green. The ball's pitched here and come back here. Uh, it was 145, which would normally be kind of pitching range distance for me, but I'm going to take a nine iron. Just try and smooth it up there, a bit of control on it. And see how we got on. Hopefully try and hit the green. It's a bit right, a bit stabby. But, 
It's up there again, we're hitting the ball well. Okay, so we've actually come up well short. Should have maybe been even one more club, so another another nine iron just to try and bump this on. See if we can get close. Heavy breathing, big hill. Ugh. Right, come on. Another lengthy path putt. Not ideal. Today we're just rolling this close, a wee two putt. The wind's blowing the camera over a few times as well, so you can see what it's like. Right, come on. I've not had that anywhere near hard enough. Oh my word. Oh dear me. The first couple had gone a bit quicker. And I uh, feel sucker to that. It could end up being a three putt six. Come on, let's run this in and get a bogey. Start five five. Woo! It's not gonna come back in. Five and a six. Excellent. Ring 40 is looking like a mission now. Yeah, let's see if we can put this one on the dance floor. It's going to turn too far left. And it's going to roll down that hill a wee bit. Excellent. Okay, so it's actually a teeny, teeny, tiny green, which it did say the greens were small and was, don't let the kind of yardage fool you. Um, it requires accuracy, so um, this is not the worst miss in the world, apart from this kind of bank here. I just got to try and get it up, I short sided myself a bit, so I'm going to go with a 60 degree, just try and land it on there. One up again. Just needs a wee delicate touch. Let's find out if I've got a delicate touch. Too much, way too much. Spun it right off the bag. Let's try and see if I can roll this one close. Ideally, drop it. Come on. Better pace, it's better pace, it's still short. Ugh. A wee knee knocker for bogey. <laughs> a four, another bogey. On to the fourth. Um, you can barely hear anything, so you might not have caught the audio from the mic there, but we've gone about 80 yards, 90 yards, 100 yards at most, so we've still got just shy of 200 here. Kind of awkward live balls lying on this slope, so we're going to try and punch a five down there. See how we got on. It's a good strike, but the wind's going to hold it. Way short. Wow. Okay, so we're on the we're on the fourth. You've just watched me play that five iron shot. Um, the wind is causing havoc. It's a bit a bit breezy. But I tell you what, for for three pounds, three pounds, this golf course is in incredible condition. Uh, it's a challenge. The fairways are the fairways are okay, good size wise. This the greens are small. So you've really got to try and be accurate with your wedges and your, your kind of approach shots. 
Um, it's a great course for a beginner. And for three quid, it's a great course for anybody if you're trying to sneak out and play some golf or you've got a bit of spare time. Three pounds, you can't, you can't whack three pounds. But it looks like we're about to get some rain, so that's going to make it even more interesting. Um, okay, we pitch shot, let's go and play this, try and get them down for par. Okay, so the greens are, the greens are quick but they're soft, I'm going to try and play a wee sand wedge into this. The nine irons just kind of caught up a wee bit. So we'll try and just play a sand wedge, pins right at the front. Let's try and see if I can put one close and make a par. That's not it, oh my god. That is atrocious, atrocious. Okay, fourth shot, not even on the green yet. If I could play that shot I played there again, it would be good. So let's see. If we can get him down for a bogey again. Break 40 is looking really, really tricky. The wind is not helping. We kick to the right, but that's much better. Part, part, uh, bogey part, even part, part. I wish. Bogey part. Looks like it's breaking a wee bit right to left. Just a touch. And then I rammed it through. Very good, very good. Another double. Me. Okay, the fifth, the fifth, fifth, uh, par four. It claims it's a dog leg, kind of up to the right of the war room, war room, but I can't, I can't see the flag yet. So um, it's only two seventy yards. So I'm just going to try and play a four iron, kind of out to in front of the ditch that you can see up there, and then we'll scope it out when we go up there. It's one of the pitfalls. I've never played a course before, so let's just get this four iron on the fairway. No, not ideal. Hit down on it. I mean, it is on the fairway, but we've got a long, long way to go now. It's a bit thin, but it's in that general direction. Should hopefully run on a wee bit. See when we get up there and hope the green's in. Okay, so the reason that looked so strange is because there's not a pin in. Which is interesting, but it's just towards the back edge. Um, we're gonna bump and run the nine iron again. Hopefully it will drop. If not, hopefully leave us at a par. Just to keep running, I've left everything, absolutely everything so short today. Breaking left to right, but it needs to be with some pace because of this slope. Come on. Let's roll one in. There's another big hill there by the way, oh my god, I'm so unfit. Come on, pal. Tum, tum, tum. I think the big gust of wind at the same time. Just push that through. For a five again. Sixth hole. 214 yard par 3, right down the hill, blind tee shot, wind in off the right. I'm going to take the 3 wood, knowing what the driver's been doing into the wind. We'll try and take the 3 wood, hopefully. Get a good connection, send it down there. That rain start to pick up as well. Oh, I topped it! No! Not what we wanted, oh no!
So in terms of the break 40, that's not going to happen um, I wanted to try and give myself something today um, Because my golf's been a bit aimless uh, Just the last few times I've been out Because there's no tournament play, there's no competitions, anything like that going on um, So break 40 was to try and entice myself into playing some better golf It's, uh, it's not happened, as you can see I think I'm 10 or 11 over again through 6 holes it's not, not going well um, this 5 iron so it's been quite nice so the golf course has been excellent look I mean it's just a wonderful wonderful bit of scenery just placed in the South Ayrshire countryside well worth a visit like right, let's go and get oh that was another hill Whew. let's go and get this, uh, this ball try and go on the green and hopefully have a putt for a birdie and make this a wee bit better Okay, so annoyingly, for whatever reason, my phone decided that it wasn't wanting to record anymore um, without being plugged into power, despite it having plenty of battery left. Um, I think maybe a bit of water's got into it. It's fell over a couple of times just while we've been out there and the rain kind of drizzled a wee while. So um, we played that. The last hole was a wee par three. We played that. Uh, hit a pitch shot just down to the side. I managed to get a photograph after my second shot, which was like three feet away for a par, and I managed to miss that part as well. So that was a four we finished on. Um, a pff, shocking score. I'll put the scorecard along the bottom just now, just so you can see it again. My golf game is not in a good place. <laughs> not in a good place at all just now. Um, I feel like I'm striking the ball okay, but the minute I get around the green, uh, I'm losing all sorts of shots. Uh, my my chip my short game is horrendous now. My putting's not been much better either. So, um, anyway, that will do it for another video. Mabel as a course for three pound, three pound I paid for that today. Unbelievable. Um, great condition. Not anywhere near as easy as you would think because of the yardage. The greens are so small. The wind picks up as well. It's kind of almost in a valley. A few of the holes are kind of right at the top of a wee plateau. So. Um, it, it was tricky, there's no excuse for how poor I paid For how poor I played um, You've got to keep slugging away back at the range Keep working on the range Try to get out a bit more I'm not playing as much golf as I would like to But that's just life um, And just uh, check out the socials At Dan Bryer across Instagram and TikTok um, And give the guys at For The Planet uh, A follow as well They're doing some great work on making golf more sustainable yeah, and I'm happy to kind of represent them. Guys, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.